All right. Shalom, Akiyam. Shalom, Shalom. All right. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Mill, Son Ruel. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. The house of David building and striving to um, build his house of Israel, man, that the hopeful elect uh, to receive salvation is in time. All right. This is the brothers from GMS Dallas. Uh, right here, I'm Yarala. Got the brother with me. Yeah, Shar. All right. So, first off, I just want all right, we're here to just give a just a quick lesson uh, through the spirit of power of Mahdi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, man, the brother just talking uh, about the current things that are going on right now in Houston, okay, with the flooding and the storms and everything. So you know, and uh, different things that we've just been posting up on the on the, on the chat with the the Akim of, of the camp. So just just been discussing a lot of things that are going on right now in the spirit, man. How the Most High is is, is starting to exact judgment, okay. A, a lot of people have been. Um, Taking the most high for, for, for fun, for who, okay, use them as a personal genie, okay. Uh, a lot of disrespect is going on across the planet Earth right now, man, chiefly here in America, uh, under, under, under the rulership of the so called white man who is Esau, according to the Bible, okay. These church pastors, so there's a lot of a lot of non fear of the heavenly father, man, the creator of the, of the heaven and earth, man, that's being portrayed here. But now he's starting to make a statement, he's starting to make it be known, and it's only going to get worse. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna exact fear in a whole lot of people, man. But it's gonna be too late in that day. Okay, all right. But now, but now we're in the beginning stage of that, you know, uh, with the eclipse that just happened this this week or last week or have you? Okay, uh, just a lot of different things that have been going on throughout the whole week, and then we're coming up on the day of atonement, which is tomorrow, which is beautiful, which is giving the men of the Lord, the true men, the true believers, a time to repent, man, and reflect That's right. on the things that have came before, you know, so we can continue on. And that we continue to have that mercy and the king to fight, man, and not be uh, take part in this devastation that's coming, man. Because bad times are coming to America, man, if, if you're paying attention, okay? So uh, we're just going to start off with uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. Uh, you going to grab that, Bob Kishan? Kind, kind. Like, whatever points you want to speak on, you know, you can do your thing. Okay, okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 7. A time to rent. Actually, it's uh, like, start at verse 1, then we'll go to 4. Okay, kind. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season. Mm -hmm. A time, a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right, so to everything there is a season, man. Okay, you everybody knows about the four different seasons. They bring uh, different things upon the planet Earth. Okay, whether well, it's uh, uh, the springtime where the harvest come and things are, are, are blooming again and being refreshed and renewed. Or it's the winter to where things are kind of dying off into the spring where things are being refreshed, renewed, or the summertime, or whatever it is, there, there's a season. Uh, everything, there's a season, man. It's every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, and the, the beautiful thing about those four seasons is that you have two and two. That's a complete duality of one another. Mm -hmm. We're polar opposite. You know, what's the opposite of fall? Spring. You know, mm -hmm. stuff falls down, stuff grows. What's the opposite of winter? Summer. Right. Real cold. It's real hot. Right, you know, right. so that just goes into the beauty here, the omnipotency of how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is, and also the balance of them as well. Like the brothers going into, what, what we're bearing witness to, with us being in the know that is, because these other people don't know nothing, but we're bearing witness to the complete balance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And that's why we're going into the scripture right here, because we're going into what he does, well, all of it's what he does, mm -hmm. but again, the duality of what he does, right. what he shows you. Dark, light, cold, warm, war, peace, so forth. You know, and right now, the time that we're in isn't a time of giggles and laughs and peace. Okay, now, of course, with us being in the truth, we might laugh amongst one another, but on the whole spectrum from what you see across the globe, and yes, it's circular, you see nothing but anguish and, and travail. All right? And when the kingdom comes, that's when you're going to see the peace and so forth. Okay. But we're in a time of grave destruction, and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to it's only going to progress, all right, because these people haven't truly experienced the fear of the Lord yet. Right. He's hardening their hearts. Okay, that's right. That's, no, no, you could, bro. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. You know, and but for the men that don't know that are that are trying to have the uh, the same mindset you have by Shemuel Shah, because I'm in the house of David. Because what he was a man after Most High's heart. He's perfect balance. So we're seeing these things. We're having fear, but we're also seeing these things as what. It's something come, coming close to our kingdom. Beautiful. So it's time to fear, but it's also at the same time, you rejoice at the same time. You know, you scare it out your mind because we're going to scarcely make it, Lord willing. That's right. But you also know that he's doing this for what? A purpose to bring the kingdom. That's doing right. this for his elect men, that he's defending his elect men. First off, he's defending himself and his name 
and what he has set up. But he's also defending the apple of his eye, man. Uh -huh. He left the nation of Israel. Okay. All right, let's jump to verse 7. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 7, and it reads, a time to rent. A time to rent. Right. And a time to sow. All right, so there's a time to, to, to rent. When you rent something, you, you tear it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, then when you're sowing, you bind it back together. You put things together, man. So right. there's a time for each perfect. Like, like I was going into, there's balance. Go ahead. A time to keep silence. And a time to speak. All right, and time to keep silence and time to speak, man. That's what's going on right now. The Most High has kept his silence. All these things have gone on across the planet Earth, man. That the works of, of Esau. Okay, the works of two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All these things have have been going on where they they're, they're totally disrespecting Yahweh by Shimei man. They're totally disrespecting the ways that the Heavenly Father sets for the earth to be ran. How people are supposed to govern themselves. How you're supposed to carry yourselves in society and deal with people, man. Right. All right, food. How you treat your brother. How you run the kingdom. All these things, and the Most High has been has been keeping silence, man. But now it's a it's a time to speak, and also that's what he did the men of the Lord. Okay, because we, we weren't out there preaching uh, the whole time. Okay, it started with Abba Bivens in the, in the 1960s until now. But before that, what? We were in chattel slavery. Okay, hardcore slavery, man, getting our backs beat. Okay, fighting for civil rights and all that madness. Okay, but now it's a time to speak. And so he, he's uh, he's speaking out. Through his men, he starts speaking. But now, the Heavenly Father is speaking by his actions. God, mind if I bring out a point too really quick? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll say this. Loosely paraphrasing, there's a scripture goes that that actually is there's a scripture in the in the scriptures of course that actually goes into when to hold your tongue and when to speak and that's of course that's one of them we read but there's another one in the New Testament or it's in the Apocrypha Salakia I can't really pinpoint it Lord willing whoever is listening the audience can quote it and can, can you know post it pretty much in the you know in the comment board but it goes into with us being a man of the Lord a time to keep silent and a time to speak. You know, to analyze the whole situation before speaking. Oh, and that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has done. Of course, he's he's created the situation, you know. But uh, with us out here speaking, what we're doing, what he's doing through us is pushing out the idea of what's to come. All right. He puts, he's putting that idea out and he he, and he, um, he had placed it in our thoughts. That's where ideas starts from in our minds. Uh, and then it gets to being made manifest afterwards after you bring the energy out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to bring that up. You know, that's yeah, something yeah, I man. thought about. That's right. Because that, that's that's actually Sirach chapter 7, I believe. Wow. That's what before thou has uh, exam blamed, examined first. That's yeah, right. And blame, you know, that's, that's right. Sirach chapter 7. That's right. And so the most high, that's what that's what we've done. And that's what we're continuing to try to do as brothers. But the most high has done as well. He's examined. He's looking at all this BS is going on the planet Earth, man, just like he did back in the time of Noah, the flood. That's right. He, that's right. he examined everybody's actions, saw all the disrespect, saw who was being righteous, who was who was uh, fighting for him, and who, who was who was against him, man. That's right. That's why he's he's uh, he's um, slow to anger. Mm -hmm. You yep. know, examining the whole matter, yep. the whole thing. And that's why Esau's sins got stacked all the way to the heavens. That's right. So that way his, his fall will be just as crucial as his buildup. That's right. That's right. Because he has he has to match his judgment, man. So the most I has to be perfect in his judgment and his balance, okay, and be long suffering, like the scriptures right. say, and, and and let Esau get up, build that up. It's like he letting Jake do, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get that now. Isaiah forty two. Yeah, right here. Time. This Isaiah chapter forty two, verse thirteen. I'm start at verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Right, he was, he's stirring up jealousy right now like a man of war. Because what? That's Exodus uh, 15 and 3. Mm -hmm. He's a man of war, man. So he's stirring up jealousy. You know, when jealousy happens, that's when a lot of anguish and beef and strife comes in. That's what's going on right now. He's stirring things up between as far as race rides, as far as the nation. Okay, he's stirring up things as far as uh, the weather. Okay, now he may be, he's using Esau for certain of those things, but it's still, whatever it happens, it's still up uh, ultimately up to Yahweh by Shimei Shah. So he's turning up all this strife and all this beef and every aspect of life, man. Okay, like a man of war, man. He's, he's getting he's getting shit started, man. Excuse my language. He's popping everything up. Okay. That's right. I might as well bring out another point. Because mm -hmm. even when you go into battle and warfare, you always have that spy that's sitting to the enemy territory to search out what they're doing to learn their weaknesses. You know, and it takes time to do that. You know, you learn what they're doing, and that spy goes back and 
from that intel that he's gathered, and he tells the general, so forth. And that's what we're actually doing right here while we're sojourning in this kingdom. You know, we're gathering all this intel that we have, and the Lord is putting the spirit on us to cry out and tell everything that's going on. And that's when the infiltration happens. I'm sorry, not infiltration, but that's when the action takes place. That's when the battle truly starts. You know, that intel has to get gathered from somewhere. As soon as the men of the Lord are gathering this intel, man, we, we, we tell them. We say, and all what's going on, just like how it says the Heavenly Father is going to cry out. He's doing that through his men. That's why it says in Ezekiel 17, I will plead with them. And how is he pleading? He's using his men to do that. Right. Okay. Right. Like the brother mentioned intel. That's uh, Amos 9 and 8. That's right, brother. Okay. Uh, when he's, he's using the angels, man. I actually, I don't want to misquote it. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Al Bashir has, has us in a, a beautiful, a beautiful um, position right now. But at the same time, it's a fearful thing because we see all this stuff going on across the four corners of this earth. And the point that the brother pinpointed earlier was stuff going on in Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's a it's a fearful thing. So you, we being men of the know, want to make sure that we're on the right side, and want to make sure that we're fervent in this thing while we're on the right side. Right. Okay. Because the Lord could. Have us in that situation at any time. Yeah, he could easily put us in one of the situations as a two thirds man. That's right. You take one one move to where one 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 wrong decision, man, and all of a sudden your judgment done where you on the other side of this thing, you know? That's why we walk on eggshell. That's why that 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 the truth is likened to a tightrope. Where it's fire on one side and fire and water on the other side, man. Yep. And it, only one man can go at, at a time, you know? That's right. It, it's, it's real easy. This world is so strong, it's enticing to the flesh. Okay, it, it, it's it's real hard, man, and it costs you. And then you, you you try to please that flesh too much, man. All of a sudden, your ass is drowning, getting burned up, man. You you know, fell to the right or to the left. So I just want to grab this real quick because the brother mentioned spies and, and washing things out. It's the Amos nine and eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power will you have by Shemiah Shah are upon the sinful kingdom. Which who are the eyes? The angels, man. They're watching, reporting. They bring you back the intel to the heavenly Father, reporting. That's why the scripture says, "His sins are reached under heaven." You know, because they're, they're, they're reporting those things. And I will destroy from out the face of the earth, saying that I will not only destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. So the point is, the eyes of the Lord, man, they're, they're, they're watching. They're watching, man, the angels, but also the men of the Lord. That's right, brother. They're reporting and, and they're not giving the Heavenly Father any rest. Because the souls of the righteous are complaining continuously to the Heavenly Father about these things. They're throwing up curses. Praying to, when you pray to the Heavenly Father for strength with a situation, that, that's a report back to him, like, what's going on, you know, to his men. You know, that's right. I'm about to bring a quick precept, real quick. Kind of, kind of. Just going into how, like you said, you know, the eyes, that's talking about the angels, but us too. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and we're messengers just like the angels. Of course, they're on a different level of it. Yeah. But, you know, this is uh, Paul, I'm sorry, Galatians chapter 4 and 14. And this is actually a report that Paul had made. Mm -hmm. You know, and even in Isaiah, Isaiah asked the question saying, Who had believed our report? Mm -hmm. You know, because again, that's what we're doing. We're out here giving a report. Kind of. All right, we're reporting into the Heavenly Father. Okay. This is Galatians chapter 4, verse 14. Uh, I'll start at verse 13. You know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at the first. And part of preaching that gospel is giving that report. Because when you preach the gospel, what do you how I say? Go on the highways and under hedges. All right. And we're supposed to talk about everything that we see out here. All right. Just like what the brother read in Amos 9 and 8, that the eyes of the Lord power upon a sinful kingdom. All right. And we're preaching the gospel and we're prophesying against a simple kingdom. Verse 14 And my temptation which was in my flesh ye despise not, nor reject it. Alright, because we're all men. We all go through certain things, so men of the Lord are going to listen to more of the message and not worried about the certain flaws that the messenger might have because we are in the flesh. But the key point why I wanted to bring this out is but receive me as an angel of the Most High, mm. even as Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So Paul was even explaining to himself, like, these men didn't just see me as a man, which I'm only a man, but they received me as a messenger right. of the Most High because of the message that was given, the truth, all right? Because these people out here don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear lies. They want to hear Pastor Porkchop. Yep. They want to hear all this other BS, man. But what we're doing out here, it was telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly according to the scriptures, telling you that a trumpet is being blown, all right? Death is coming, travail is coming, so forth, 
The Lord sees this through us and we're making that report out there. And who's the ones that received that report? And that's other men of the elect. Okay. That's right, man. And, that, and that's another reason, man. You pe that's why y'all that's why people are taking the L down there in Houston, man. That's right, brother. Because we have we have a, we have mighty camps down there. We have two, uh, I believe two camps down there. You know what I'm saying? Out there preaching the word. And they don't want to take heat, man. And that and that's that's crazy. That's one that that's the most populated city in Texas. Man, beautiful. Catching the L right now. You know what I'm saying? And the most popular one of the most shoot, yeah. top five in the country. Yeah, top yeah, yeah. The most in Texas. Yeah, I believe, yeah, top, yeah, yeah. It's real up there in the country, you know what I'm saying? So they didn't want to take heed to the men out there that's bringing the word, which the water you by Shimon shot at those, those, those brothers down there are good and that's well right. willing that's uh, right. to be good. That's right. You know? But everyone else down there taking L's right now, losing everything, man. You know? Mm -hmm. getting, their, getting their ass handed to them, man. Why? Because the most side is he's starting to get tired. That's right, brother. He's, he's getting tired of the disrespect, man. He's, he sent his prophets out there for, uh, for years. Woo! You know, that's right. And he's getting, he's getting tired of disrespect now, man. You 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 constantly slapped his hand away. You constantly tried to cover his mouthpiece. You constantly try to put your hand over his mouth, man, through his men. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now he now he's gonna go hard, man. So uh, right. let's go back to that. Isaiah forty two. I'm gonna start at verse thirteen again, really Kinda. quick. Isaiah forty two and thirteen. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Mm -hmm. He shall cry. Yeah, he roared. He's on crying, yeah, he roared. He's he's crying and he's starting to cry and roar, man. He's starting to make it be known, man. His presence starting to be known right now. Okay, kind of. You know? He's crying to yeah, roar. Why? By his actions, by the things that he's portraying on the planet Earth, man. The judgments that's going out right now. Okay, me and the brother was talking about earlier. Um, I thought it was in Houston, but it was a typhoon somewhere where those gooks are. Uh it was a type one of the strongest typhoons ever recorded. It, it was a, a video that the brother uh, Yakar from Arkansas sent out where this, this truck was walking back and forth. These are 100, 100, 150 mile an hour winds. This guy's truck is rocking back and forth, man. And, he, and this asshole show you that the most I deal with everybody. He thought it was a good idea to get on the side of the truck and try to stabilize the truck. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you, bro? It's a truck in 100, 150 mile plus winds, man. Good, good. And what happened? The fucking truck. <laughs> gook, gook soup. Man, gook soup all over the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then to add insult to injury, the truck slid across his body, bro. No, showing that with nothing left. You seen splat <laughs> on the on the pavement of leftover gook. Yeah, man. Gook, man. Gook juice everywhere. They gonna scrape it up and put that in some, in some chow mein, man. Yeah, yeah. They need a swift or wet jet or a mop, man, to pick that motherfucker up, man. You can't put that in a body bag. No. You know, but Sean, that's a judgment heavily follow, man. That that shows you who controls everything. That's right. Man. He thought it was a good idea. The most high, the most high not dealing with no gooks anyway. But he thought it was a good idea to try to hold up a damn truck. You what, five, 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 six at the most? And you hold up a damn truck with a big ass, uh, I don't kind of want the box truck type deals, you know what I'm saying? And the truck just falls on him, man, and completely crushes him and spills him all over the pavement. Yeah. That's that's the Heavenly Father roaring right now, man. People are dying in insane ways. That's right. Everyone's worst fear is coming true, man. Hey, there was a there was a um a chick. Uh, she might have it was probably somewhere out there where the Benjamin is, but this chick died from twerking. Mm. She was doing a ha a headstand twerking, and her body weight came forward, and and, and pretty much it um you know her neck couldn't support it. it snapped her, and it point. snapped her neck. Yep. Just by twerking. Yep. Pee popping on the handstand. Yeah. Got you your neck snapped. That's right. That's where bitch died in her own filthy lust. Yep. And that and that's what that's what's gonna get everybody killed. That's right. They lust. That's right. Whatever yo 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 concupiscence or concupiscence, have you gonna pronounce it? Hey, tomato tomato. That's what's gonna get everybody killed, man. That's why we can't. We gotta fight off this flesh, man. That's right, brother. To the best of our abilities, man. Because if I don't just that flesh, and even if it's not going off, if it's not expedient, you don't want to take that chance, man. That's right. You don't want to take that chance because that's what's getting everybody killed. They they lust and what they fulfilling their flesh on, and that's a perfect example. She was pee popping, and Angel was like, you know what? Yep. Gave that extra nudge, and her body went, and her head stayed, and that neck went. Yeah, it snapped like a twig. And they tried to do both. Go and, and stay. And her, yep, and it tried, and it did not work out for her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So the, the Heavenly Father is exacting judgment right now, man. Right. 
you know, and but the but the unjust hey, that, but ain't nobody taking heat. Everybody just like pray for, pray for me and get through it. No one's like, man, maybe we should all rethink our situation, our lives. Ain't nobody posting that on Facebook. That's right. That's why the scriptures tell us tells us to consider our ways. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why it's written in that scripture. And uh, I believe it's written in Nahum. It's written in Nahum, I believe. Uh, we don't gotta Haggai. get it. Yes, uh, Haggai. Haggai. So like, we don't gotta get it. But you know, it, it uh, tells us to pretty much consider our ways, man. Because our ways can pretty much determine, of course, it's all determined through Yah Bashim Al Shah, but through our actions, because because we know karma mind is enmity with the Most High, our ways can pretty much determine whether it's life or death. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's why He right. says to consider. That's right, man. All right. You want me to right. continue on this? Uh, let's see. Come, the come. Verse yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let's get that. Then I'll, I want to. I'm going to grab that example nine, three, and five since I said okay. that earlier. But yeah, continue on that. And Isaiah come. four two. In um, verse 13, the end of it, it says, Yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. And that word prevail in the Hebrew is um, <laughs> Gabar. And what does that word mean? Be a warrior. Mm -hmm. All right? A warrior prevails over his enemies. Mm -hmm. He dominates them. That's know? right. Apostle Gabar. That's you right. Know, like you see the Golden State Warriors, what they just did. Oh, you know? man. That's, <laughs> that's the, <laughs> hey, for real, you know, I, I don't want to put it as a carnal thing, but like the yeah. Apostle Paul said, unto the carnal, we speak of the, we speak carnal things so they yeah. get it, you, can, you know? Become things, all things, all men, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? You got, any way you can use to make the, the point stick and to, mm -hmm. to elect, hey, you use that. That's right. That's why, that's why Paul used a lot of sports references. Because mm -hmm. you know I mean? Jake relates to sports. Fighting, marathons, boxing, warfare, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Jay can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know how it's in five ways. You you whatever if you a nigga that used to deal with drugs, you you kinda you find a way to relate that to him to make the scriptures pop to him. If he's a party of let. You know, if, right. if a dude was an athlete, you make sports happen. Um, you know, science, whatever whatever the case may be, man, you make it you come down to a Jake level to make them understand it to where they elevate their understanding, you know? God, that's right, brother. Okay. It says to prevail, have strength, be strong, be powerful, be mighty, be great. Mm -hmm. All right. And the most, and that's the most. He's gonna be great. Why? Because he's how much me out shot he right. is, man. That's he right. created all this, man. He's running this show. No matter how much Esau, he's allowing Esau to do. He's still running the show, man. He's gonna prevail against his enemies. Mm -hmm. Those who have shunned the truth, those who don't want to listen, those who are fulfilling your own belly, and he's prevailing right now. That's right, brother. Okay, he is is right. how about Shimia was shot three hundred million, everyone else zero. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If he gonna kill you, he gonna kill you. If he wants to get judgment, you gonna get judgment, man. If he wanna fuck, slack you, mess you up, and you still live, he can make that happen to where you still you could be a paraplegic, man. Right. Can only have use of your head. You know what I'm saying? You still alive, trapped in the in the lifeless body, man. That's right. He, he's gonna prevail against the enemies. What he says goes, man. Come, bro. You know, go ahead, bro. Verse 14. And this is why we have brought up Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. Because mm -hmm. it's a time to keep silent and it's a time to speak. That's right. All right. Verse 14 says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. All right. He's long time holding his peace, man. The Heavenly Father been like, okay. Been quiet. Yeah, he's been quiet. He ain't exact real jump now. Now, don't get me wrong. Judgment has been going out. Our time, people have been dying because the scripture said that the issues of life and death come from Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Okay, so don't get that quiz at Psalm 68 11. But on a major scale, it hasn't happened yet. But now it's like it's starting to happen. So now he's holding it. He said he's holding his peace, he's been still, and he's refraining himself. He's he's been kind of holding back on, on unleashing because you can tell, like, the, the spirit that we have, we're made in his image. So just think how the heavenly fathers feel, how we see all this wickedness. Mm -hmm. Just think how you have Bashim Al Shah feels, yeah. seeing all these things going, and, and and to have the complete power to decimate people and just hold yourself yeah. back. Yeah, we don't have that power yet. Yeah, he ha he con brother. Yeah, he, he's got. He it. has it, <laughs> and, and, and we can't wait to play on these people. That's right. And so just think to to have it, and, and just like the Lord, yeah, yeah, I was shot. Wait till he's able to. He see he sees it through us. Wait till he's able to use it through us too. Man. You know, he's just waiting, but that, that shows you perfect restraint and balance and, and right. patience, you know what I'm saying, which we're trying to uh, exact, you know what I'm saying, try, try right. to be in that same stead. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, Art. And I meant to say, Salak, okay. I didn't say use it through us, but we'll use it through him. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just wanted to put that point out there before Scott for hop on the comment board and try to say some stuff. Hey, that, that that's yeah. synonymous. That, that goes hand in hand, because he's going to use us to exact judgment. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna Come. use us. We're gonna be tools. Come. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's us using it through the spirit you have by Shemel Shah. And then it's him 
using us as his because he's a king. He ain't got to do nothing. Right. He's gonna use us. So absolutely. So if they if they scoff at that, which they probably will. You know, Jake Pay. Yeah, you know, Jake Pay pay ass. So mm-hmm. well, you know, I but yeah, hey, but the elect the elect don't get it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else, that's gonna be another uh, another strike on that's another right. tally on your on your death toll. That's you know? Right, uh, I have a long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained from myself, mm-hmm. refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman? I will destroy and devour at once. And, that, and that's what he's doing, man. He's destroying and devouring. Okay, <laughs> he, he, he's he's doing our judgment, our left and right, all type of ways, man. Mm-hmm. All type of crazy ways. Now we have someone that's crying and tra- like a travailing woman. That anyone that ever had kids, and you know your woman going to labor. You know, so I have a seven-year-old daughter, so I saw my little lady, my ex-wife, going labor, man. That 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 shit was tearing her ass up. She was crying and hollering, you know, begging for 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 uh, for something else to, to take away that pain, you know. Or when you see somebody that that, that just at their wits' end, where they're ready to fight and they just charge at you, crying, the tears crying, they just yelling. That that's the Lord, man. That he's getting to a point where he's like, okay, now it's time. I can't take this shit. No more. But now, but it's it's all in the spirit of his will and, and his chest moves, you know? That's right. And, and that's what he's doing. He's in the, in the beginning of the stage of him crying like a traveling woman, man. He started like, you know what? It's starting to come on the mask. Yo, we had that eclipse. And ever since that eclipse happened, man, all type of stuff has been going on. Hell, loose. You know? All, all, all holy hell is breaking loose. And it's only going to get worse from here on out. It's only going to get worse, man. You know? So he just started destroying the devour. Like I said, he had Houston. To where he had heard, had Hurricane Harvey swing through, and it's gonna make another trip. They're they're projecting another trip. He's gonna circle back around for oh, round two. Bro. I've never heard of that. Bro. Now it could be it could be Esau with the harp, but at the end of the day, it's still your how about Shimmy Al Shah. Creating this man, he's like, you know what? I think they need another go around. Yep. Just to all that rebelliousness, that 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 me, 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 and, and hating on my men and, and my word, you know, I think they need another they need another trip. You well, know what the, I'm saying? Con, the, uh, the scriptures even say, yeah, the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Or how can a man know his own way? Mm-hmm. So like you said, whether it's harp or whatever, man, yo, the, the Lord is controlling all of this, yeah. man. He's, he's using the right hand side and left hand side. He creates light and darkness, man. Mm-hmm. So most high is getting busy, you know? And, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. No, no, yeah. No, if you guys don't take no, go ahead, bro. Shall the trumpet be blown mm-hmm. in the city and the Lord had not done it? That's right. You know? <laughs> The Lord do, does all these things, man. Right. God, the Lord do all these things, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So he, he, hey, it's coming to a time where hey, it's going to get real serious, and yo, yo, each, each step that us as men of the Lord are going to take, man, it's going to have to be real calculated, real spiritual. That's right. You know, you know, you don't, you don't know what can happen. You don't know what, what's his, whether, whether it's not against law or not. It, it may just not be expedient, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Because if I'm not being expedient, it could it could call another brother to go off and you can have blood in your hand. You know, it may not be necessary going on, but it not be the time for that type of stuff, you know. You have to really consider and pray, man. That's right. And how you do that, man, just continue to fight and, and, and try to draw closer to you how about you, man, as possible that he's dealing with you, man. That's right. You know, uh, right at Zephaniah 3 and 5. Because oh, right. right. I just, because I said about that judge, I just want to yeah. grab that real quick. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Zephaniah. This is Zephaniah chapter three verse five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. Right, the just Lord is in the midst of you. How only Yahweh by Shemuel Shah is just man, and he's in the midst of everything. Why? Because that's his name, Yahweh. Yah, he, Hawa, he is or to be exists. He's in all and through us all, man. He's in, he's in everything, man. Sure. So he's in the midst. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Right, because all his judges are balanced, man. That's right. It, it's, it's all righteous, man. You know? Go ahead. Uh-huh. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. Uh-huh. He faileth not. Right. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light, man. And there's people taking L's daily, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the death toll is only going to escalate day by day. That's right. To where, to where it's going to be disaster, natural disasters here. Uh, so-called terrorist attacks up here, whether it is a false flag or whether it's a, really a terrorist attack, okay? Uh, pile-ups on the highway, uh, buildings collapsing, sinkholes, whatever the case is, man, it's coming to light each day. And, and most I ain't failing. He is not slack concerning his promise. Where he promised, he's like, man, I'm going to start killing these motherfuckers. Okay? Go ahead, bro. 
come. And this, this, this is the last point. It's this verse right here. Go ahead. But the unjust knoweth no shame. The unjust knoweth no shame, man. You people have no shame. No idea. No idea. Don't don't have no remorse for, for things that are going on right now. No one is considered like the brother quoted earlier in Haggai, considering your ways. No, especially two thirds of people. Because really, you Edomites, y'all got y'all judgment. Y'all really not who we talk to. Who, right. who gives a shit? But y'all encompass in in this judgment as well yep. that we're talking about. But it's really made directed towards our people, man. Two thirds. They'll just they don't know no shame, man. And and they're getting rocked right now, and and still have no shame, still don't consider ways, still thinking that maybe they may want to reevaluate their situation or reevaluate their situation. You know, they have no shame in feeling bad or what they're doing. Okay, Jake going to church, not getting no explanation of what the hell is going on in these end times. Jake don't have a clue. They just know just to pray the Lord Jesus, and, and they thinking everything's gonna be all right. Like no man, you need to have understanding in order to have to not learn how to maneuver through these things. That's why the scripture says wisdom and knowledge shall be That's the stability right, of our time. Now, if you don't know these things, like if you don't know these things, and have complete knowledge of the, the Illuminati, uh, Donald Trump, things of that nature, these race riots, and if you don't know these things are all prophesied in the Bible, how are you gonna get through it? If you think just some, some happenstance type stuff, and if you pray to Jesus, it's gonna be okay. No, nah, man, you're not gonna make it, man. Nah, they're waiting for God. They're waiting for Chesley B. Yeah. To come out the clouds uh, with a with a with a handful of sunflowers. Giving out high fives and handshakes, mm -hmm. cotton candy, you know, riding on a unicorn. Right. You know, that's the, that's their image they get at Yahweh Shah, man. They don't they don't understand the judgment. They'll say that they'll say that these especially these women, and I don't want to digress, but it's the reason mm -hmm. why I'm saying this. These women will say they want a God fearing man. But <laughs> like Yahweh Shah said, <laughs> ye know not what ye ask. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, as soon as you get that man involved in your life, then it's all oh, this and that. He acts this way, this, that, and the third. And when all hell breaks loose, like what's going on in Houston and so forth, man, you don't know how to handle it. Right. All right? And this even goes for you pussyfoot, excuse my language, but you pussyfoot pastors and you pussyfoot two-thirds out there that used to be part of this heavenly gift. All right? You knew this was the coming. You fainted. You gave up. Lord willing, the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh stays on us. So we don't end up being like y'all, but you knew this was to come and you fainted. You gave up. And what had happened right when you gave up, right when you got caught stealing, doing whatever the hell you was doing. And I'm just talking about Jake and General stealing, lying, and so forth. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah blew that trumpet. And it's been being blown, but now it's getting louder and louder and louder and louder to the point where even these lost people, the ones that have no shame, they know something going on, but they don't know how to handle it. You know? Just like, no, they just like, you know what? They're just going to continue. They're going to continue. No shame, man. But they're going to, hey, it's going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse for the death, man. And if, they, and if that storm comes back around, you know, hey, ain't no telling what you have. Why you on shock what happen in that storm? You know that's, what I'm saying? That's surrounded for real, for real, uh, rain, fire, and brimstone. I'm yeah. just being funny. But you. You don't know. You never know. When we fought, when we fought against the wars and, and the wars against, against them Canaanites in Jericho. All over Jordan, when the Lord was fighting with us, he was sending he was sending fire and brimstone, literally, and meteorites from the sky. Mm -hmm. We don't know. You don't, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know what the Holy Spirit and Father has against his enemies, man. To, to be an end, that's why the brother quoted earlier, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. Man, when you're an enemy of Yahweh, <laughs> Yahweh Shah, man, hey, his, 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 the scriptures say his judgment and his mercy is just as great as his um, wrath. He's, he's equal balance, man, and, and he and he's gonna take a hundred and forty four thousand dusty, crusty Negroes out of Native Americans, raising them up, giving them understanding, giving them the love of the brotherhood, the, the standard of morale, a high standard of morality, man. Because like we was all pieces of shit, we can you know we all got testimonies of that, man. You know what I'm saying? You just think how Jake was perceived in America, man. Just to see all these upstanding men as, right. that are trying, and we still as filthy rats, you know what I'm saying? Because we still go off, but but men that come out and try. And hold a sort of certain moral standard through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. That's a mighty work, man. That's the beginning of spiritual power. That's right. Some of the people would never have thought in the eighties and seventies and sixties think that men like uh, like us, regular guy, tattoos, you know what I'm saying, had uh, taper fades, ball fades, tongue rings, nose pierced, all those whatever the case may be, wicked as hell, committing adultery, all type of discussing the Bible acts to make a complete one eighty. He was very proud of Mighty Hell by Shimon Shah. That's the mighty work, man. So just think how much his judgment is, is going to match that, you know? That's right. Ooh. That's okay. a great point.
you know, against his enemies, man. And he and he, and he started to get busy on you, nigga, man. Mm-hmm. And I had this in that name. I, I know you this is one of the that you thought, so I'll read it for you. Or, 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 or do you have some? No, it's, it's, okay. All right, that's okay. Yeah, that, that, that was in that was that I wanted. Okay. But I'll read this for you. This is um, Nahum chapter 1, verse 2. Uh, the Most High is jealous, and Yahweh Shemiah shall revenge him. Yeah. That speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. It says the Most High is jealous. In, a, in order to be jealous, there has to be a certain individual to make you jealous. You have to have some type of love or affection for an individual to make you jealous. So, mm-hmm. of course, this scripture shows you that he's not talking about these Edomites. Mm-hmm. All right, he's talking about his own people. Because what have our people done? Like the brother went into it. He, he, he went on a, a beautiful tangent. You know, because I don't even want to say it like, a t- usually when people say gone on a tangent, it's, no, that was beautiful. You know, because you went into all the filthy, lucrative acts that our people do. You know, so of course the Heavenly Father's jealous, but he's still at dust it off, like you said, 144,000 in a, a large uh, multitude yeah, of dusty so called Negroes, yeah. Latinos, and Native Americans, and Jake scattered across the four corners of the earth yeah, and slack. brought them back. Yeah, slack. No, 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 but hey, it's all good. It's a spirit, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because those 144 are going to receive the sure mercies, of, the most mercies of David anyway, are going to receive more of that reward, more of that portion, mm-hmm. you know? But pretty much, like he's talking about the balance of his judgment, he's yeah. jealous. So you can imagine what he's going to do to those niggas, yeah. those jakes, that ain't right. So you dang skippy, the Lord is jealous. Right. He chose you out of everybody else, and look what you've done. Look at the fruit of your works. Look at your labors that you've committed across the planet Earth. And I'm just talking about you jakes. You know? Look what you've done. You can't even bring up a conversation about righteous food or what not to eat or what you don't eat. And the Jacob looks at you like you're crazy because you don't eat this. That's right. You know? Or you'll be quick to justify it and say, well, God changed it. When you don't know the scriptures, but you can go ahead. Come on, come on. Oh, I just want to say, yeah, man, the, all the things that Jake done, man, and just, oh, just ultimate disrespect and worship of everything under the sun, but yeah, how about Shimei Alisha? You know what I'm saying it's that's that's ridiculous, man. And he, and he's gonna re- and he's and script, that's why it says he revenges, man. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna show you what it is, man. He's gonna get you back, man. That's right. You know, uh, Yahweh Hashem shall revenge it and is furious. Yahweh Hashem shall would take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserved wrath for his enemies. Yeah, you niggas, you niggas, and you and you and you spicks and you and you Uncle Tomahawks are his enemies, man. Cause y'all counted just as the heathen. Why is that? Because you live like him. You took on his ways. He told us what to do and what not to do on how to be like them. He said, don't do this and you won't be like them. And you're doing the same exact thing. But worse, you surpassed them. So, yes, you are his enemy. He don't give a sh- he, he don't give a dang. I don't want to keep you know speaking foul according to them for the, maybe the weaker people in the spirit that might get offended at words. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Salak, if it, if it offended but pretty much what I'm getting at is, man, two thirds of our people, the wicked of our people are his enemies. Right. OK, the only thing is his mercy is going to be shown to you in the kingdom versus the heathen and versus Esau. He's not going to be completely eradicated. All right. You got it. That's right. Yep. And now you but don't get it twisted. You, you heathen still following as well. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He mostly worried about his people because that's where the judgment's going to start. That's right. You know, but y'all are y'all adversary as well. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't the word adversary. It means Satan. Right. So you eat them ice, y'all don't 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 you even dare try to get you can slide out. You ride along with them niggas, they join their hand in hand with your dog. Right. Ass. You Jesus Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't, just don't forget that. You, you this ain't no way for you to slide in. Nope. Okay. Now the ice is still in there too, but Jake is gonna Jake is gonna get towed off the bone. That's right. That's why. Them mm-hmm. niggas are holding up progress. Y'all doing y'all job, y'all That's y'all right. the eating mice, y'all the heathens. Right. You other nations, y'all y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. It's our people that are the boneheads, mm-hmm. you know? That's right. And when you go to the next verse, it's going to go on to Jake Judgment, yeah. what we see mm-hmm. right now. Verse 3. Uh, Yahweh Bashim is slow to anger and great power. Yeah, he's slow to anger because we were going into the balance the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know, when there's so many scriptures that talks about appointed times, and what was the first scripture that we read earlier? Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. You know, it's a time to, it's a time to rent, it's a time to sow, it's a time to be silent, it's a time to speak. And the Heavenly Father's been silent. Of course, he's been doing judgments here and there, but it hasn't been of the of the magnitude yeah. as you see it right now. So you see him speaking more and more and more. And how is he speaking? He's doing this place on his actions. Yep. Okay. Go mm-hmm. ahead. 
Fuck the show. He's trying to make moves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yahweh Shemel Shai slowed her anger and great in power and would not at all acquit the wicked. That's right. He would not at all acquit the wicked, man. All right, just like how y'all like to get on OJ so much, he he might have like to say, oh, he shouldn't have been a, he shouldn't have been acquitted for the for the so-called crime that he's done. And I'm just using this as an example. All right, what y'all have done? Surpass orange juice. <laughs> y'all surpassed the juice. Y'all yeah. got the juice. Like in the movie The Juice, what, yeah. what does that mean? Yeah. When you when you got the when you were murdered, pretty much. Yeah. You know, y'all 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 got all the juice, yeah. man. You control them a person's life, and you you yep. in complete control and all that. that, that that's Esau, man. Esau, he, he's the E in the house, man. He got y'all the, ain't gonna be acquitted yeah. for what y'all have done to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What you've done across the four corners of the earth, man. When you read Proverbs twenty-nine and sixteen, it tells you when when um when wicked when the trans transgression increases, so has the wicked. Mm-hmm. All right, there might be, a matter of fact, when the wicked increase, so has transgressions, yep. or transgressions. All right, loosely paraphrasing, but look what you've done to the planet Earth, man. The Earth can't even breathe, and that's a living organism. Yep. The Earth is literally trying to kill you all off the face of this Earth just so we can continue to produce and do its, do its thing. It's trying to protect itself. Absolutely. You yep. know what I'm saying? He's mm-hmm. trying to find ways to protect itself, but you know, but Esau is going so hard right now, but sure. we know that it's not going to be completely destroyed according to scriptures. But man, the earth is reacting. God, you know, because all, all it's being attacked. <laughs> Esau yep. is attacking the hell out of mm-hmm. the earth, man. That's right. Along with the people, Shit. along with the setup of your house by Shimei was shot. That's right. You slap somebody so many times, it's going to be a point of time for them to give you that real tough backhand. Yeah, yeah. Before, before all of a sudden, as soon as you draw your head back, all of a sudden their hands come back at you and slap the shit out of you. That's right. That's you know. Right. Uh, is uh, Yahweh Shem Shai hath, hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. Can you read that part again? Uh, Baba uh, Nahum uh, 1 and 3 in the middle of verse 3. Yahweh Shem Shai hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. That's right. He had his way with the whirlwind and with the storm. You brought the precept out earlier. The account of life and death falls in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And people will even be like, oh, no, this harp, whatever. The, the heart of the kings in the hands of the most high. Yep. He has his way with this. That's right. This is all his doing. Mm-hmm. The whirlwind and the storm. Again, reason why we bring this up and harping on it. What do you see going on in Houston right now? Mm-hmm. What do you see going on where those gooks are at? What do you see going on in Oklahoma with the with the tornadoes and stuff, man? Mm-hmm. It's judgment happening all over the world. And this is just the catastrophes across uh, the world of catastrophes. What's going on in Yellowstone? Yeah. Oh. Yellow, Yellowstone, they even tell you Yellowstone was supposed to erupt hundreds of years ago. They talking about it's supposed to be a super volcano. Yeah. A yeah. hundred years ago? That means to show you that the Heavenly Father is holding it until it's appointed time. That's right. If I can say this real quick, on, brother. you mentioned Oklahoma. There's a documentary because that, that 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 last year tornado back in 2013 mm-hmm. where it, it was devastating. Right, yeah. They did a documentary about that on Netflix. It's not on that. Um, I don't think it's on Netflix anymore, but you should still be able to find it somewhere online. But the name of the documentary was "Where Was God." Mm. They had that, that. That was the name of the documentary. Uh, something that said the word was God. Pretty much when those tornadoes happened, man. That's hey, right. These the scriptures prove that God was all in those. That's right. That was hell. Was His judgment. That's a beautiful point, brother. You know what I'm saying? He sent those tornadoes through, through tornado. That's called Tornado Alley. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He sent those tornadoes to wreak havoc. You know what I'm saying? He had this way in the whirlwind, <laughs> which that's a tornado, that's man. Right. Hey, they asked the question. They didn't even know the answer was right in front of. Yeah, them. right there, buddy. He was like, Shit. right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spinning this thing like a DJ. That's right. God damn That's me. right. It was, he sent his angels and sent his powers. Because those those are angels in the, 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 the powers, man. Mm-hmm. When all those storms, those lightning strikes, those are the angels getting busy up there, man. That's right, brother. You don't even know that's the Heavenly Father orchestrating all that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The scripture proves so if you got the understanding. I'm going to read this for you again. Uh, God, Yahweh Bashamir Shah had his way in the whirlwind and yeah, in the world. storm. He has his way in the whirlwind and the storm. He controls, he creates, he destroys, he builds. He does all of this. Go ahead. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Now, we know the clouds can represent his chariots. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But also, too, just what you see up there. Mm-hmm. Not every cloud you see up there are the chariots, but that shows you that everything down here is beneath him. That's and he right. controls all of it, man. That's right. That, that, that shows you how high he is and how Absolutely. significant all these things are compared to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, after the overcast, the 
it's cloudy and all that stuff. You control it. It's, it's really it's significant compared well, to the Heavenly Father. God, and what happens when your feet is on the ground and you start moving your feet around? You can control the dust, the direction of the dust, whatever mm -hmm. it does. And imagine how them ants and the bugs and all that feel when you're yeah. doing all that. Man, they like, oh, snap, you know, yeah. whoa. They, they Dang, do. they try to evade that mug, yeah. bro, but you so big, it's only so far they can go. Yeah. Especially if you have your mind set. And I'm not saying it's like I kill bugs and stuff because I don't, but I'm just just talking in, in the general of, of somebody who's higher than another being. But let's say, for example, you're moving your feet on the ground and, and an ant, uh, a swarm of ants is trying to escape from it, man. You can put your foot anywhere and crush them anytime you want. Oh, I'm going to kick the dust over here and bury them in sand. Or whatever I want to do, it's a puddle, it's it's bugs over there, or whatever, I'm gonna kick the puddle and boom, water, so forth, and they threw. Right. You don't think the same thing applies with the Heavenly Father, which shows how much greater he is than we are? Mm -hmm. You know? That's We're right microscopic, right. he's macroscopic. Right. Alright? We're smaller than him. Our ways are smaller than his ways. He controls everything, all of that, especially since we're so much lower. You know, his feet are down here with the clouds, man. That's right. That's why he called the earth his foot salute. That's right, brother. And they have, and they have his foot. thrones, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know? And even though it's his foot salute, he still takes disrespect to how everything's being treated on, on, on him. You know what I'm saying? That's right, brother. And, that, and that's why he's starting to act out now. Now he says it's time. Because why? If, if everything keeps going the way it's going, he won't have his footstool no more. Nope. Everybody be dead. The yep. earth will be the, the, the corroded, decayed, and cracked. You know what I'm saying? Under the hands of Esau, man, everybody dead. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody in the spirit world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There be no mm -hmm. one to procreate life anymore. Mm -hmm. Leave it up to Esau. And it's society how everything's been ran. You know? Uh, do you want me to read verse 4 as well? He rebuked with the sea. Or... What is that? Uh, he rebuked with the sea. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Verse, yeah. Verse, yep, verse 4. He rebuked the sea and make it dry, and dry up all the rivers. Yeah, just like he make it dry, he can also reproduce them seeds. When I say reproduce, he can add more on to them. Like, I was having a conversation, we, we, me and his brother was having a conversation earlier, and I didn't even hear this before, but he said people people be saying, when it rains real hard, they be like, man, he took the bottom off of that cup. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same thing applies with the Heavenly Father. He rebuked the seas. Look what's going on on the Gulf. He rebuked the seas, man. He controls the world when he does all of this. Hurricanes, tsunamis, typhoons, earthquakes, so forth. This all falls into the hands of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right. All right. He spoke about these things and he's using his eyes to see this stuff. He's using his mouthpiece, which are the prophets, to speak these things what are come. And right when we started speaking on these things, even way before I was in the truth, because we're talking about the apostles, when they first started, they were saying all these things through the Spirit. Right. And now you're seeing it coming to fruition mm -hmm. through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. It's coming to play. It's coming to pass. Oh, if I just want to make this quick point, you rebuke at the sea. Um, there was a video that just I, I reposted on my page uh, on the street speaking of the elders when um, mm -hmm. Elder Thomas, Thomas Docky was going in about how they were going to Second Edges 13 chapter, mm -hmm. how he held still still the flood around the Horn of Africa. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And those, those are some rough seas. So right around there, when you go around the bottom, the Horn of Africa, mm -hmm. the yeah. southern part, and you go up, that's that's pretty much Hurricane Alley right there. Yeah. Between those, that's where all those rough storms come. Mm -hmm. And and it took them a year and a half to get there, yeah. to get to the Asher, the new land, where no man dwelt. But what? The Heavenly Father held back those things. That's right. That's a beautiful point. Yeah, normally that stuff just happens. You know what I'm saying? There is tornado season. I mean, it's hurricane season. All that from what, June, I believe, to around November. Mm -hmm. That's why things are so cheap when you travel around that time. You know what I'm saying? But that's when those storms really get busy. They they, they, hit, they hit through South America and Africa. Okay, they hit the, the, the Bahamas. They hit up the eastern seaboard. And they go out to, to the middle of the sea. You know what I'm saying? So, but the Heavenly Father, he held back that just for Jake to fulfill the prophecy mm -hmm. to get over to where they need to go, man. Beautiful. That shows the power of Yahweh by Shimei That's right. He has a power to interrupt what he has said. It's like, you know mm -hmm. what? I, I need to stop this for just a little bit. Y'all going through. Go ahead. Get away from the Syrian captivity and all that. All right. They got away. Go ahead and keep the party going. Now, them storms are back. You know what I'm saying? That's just an example. Of how powerful you have by Shemel Shai is because what? He created all that. He orchestrated those things. That's right, so he can also rebuke it and stop as well to hold it back as much as he wants to. You know? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to read over again. Uh, he rebuked the sea and making it dry and dried up all the rivers. Bashan languisheth and Carmel 
and the flower level now languishing. So I did that's why you want to okay, kind of kind. You know what I'm saying? So I know you wanted um. We had a few. I see Jeremiah this. 44. 44. Let's, let's get that one next. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to grab Jeremiah 44 and 22 for the brother. Um, and Jeremiah. this is the last one. I know it's been a little yeah. long. I can't tell you, but hey, the no, spirit's no. rolling, you know? Kind of, kind of. Actually, uh, I want to get that second edge chapter 9, and then we can uh. probably end up on that. Because, okay. And then, yeah, then we'll, we'll get this one to get that one, and then we'll get through. Uh, so if you could uh, flip through. We'll, we'll get it. Oh. Uh, it's Jeremiah 44 and 22. Uh, so that you have about Shemel Shah could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings. And because of the abominations which he have committed. That's to come to a stop. Mm -hmm. He can no longer bear it. It's only, it's like we were talking about that appointed time earlier. You know, that time that's appointed at that peak, it's no more. Mm -hmm. All the abominations going on, all the wickedness that's pushed forth. Mene, mene, tekel. Mm -hmm. He's weighed all this in the balance. All right. And this came wanting. All right. Lacking. Like when you go into that word wanting, pursuing the Daniel, the fifth chapter. All right, it means lacking. And, you know, there was a video I've done earlier on this a few days ago. And what is it lacking? Spirituality, equity, righteousness, justice, so forth. All right. It's came up to the point where, again, the wicked sin is stacked all the way to heavens, man. You know? That's right. Uh, and because of the abominations which you have committed, there, it's like it. therefore is your land a desolation and an astonishment. Yeah, look at Houston, man. It's a, uh, it's a, we were talking about how large of a population that shit has. And that's a large population full of low-life niggas. Because mm -hmm. Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a people for us a place. That's right. right. Look at all the abominations y'all have done, man. Mm -hmm. And that's only a start. We're just using this as an example. If the water you have about shit, you have a shot of safe down there. Uh -huh. all right? Because he's protecting them. All right, But at the same time, he's showing us that he ain't nothing to be played with. Oh. Ain't nothing to fear, and it's gonna it's gonna hit all the cities of America very, very, very soon. Yep. I wholeheartedly believe he started with Houston for a reason. Well, it that's... was a reason, a statement, but also too, it was a refinement for them beautiful brothers down there. That's right. It shows you that, hey man, as long as you push it for me, I got you, bro. Yep. No matter what I bring and what he, he he's he's got them, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's watching over them. And so, hey, they're good in that situation, you know. So that that's that's something for them brothers to know, and that's from for other Akiam around uh, right. America and around the globe to see mm -hmm. that they did that they didn't take no L's. Brothers' families are good. Brothers' families didn't didn't take no L as far as that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They were they were safe. So you know, so just something something to consider, you know. Ah. Uh, yeah. Therefore, is your land a, cur a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day? Yeah, man. Again, we talk about it. Because Jeremiah prophesied during the time of uh, the Babylonian captivity, man. You know, he seen that really he, he was there at the latter end of our rulership. And he witnessed the ushering in of, of the Babylonian captivity. Yeah. Now, of course, Babylon was doing the things around that time. You know what I'm saying? They were they were definitely a head superpower. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't even want to say to Salakia. Babylon was really in power. But he was around that time when they burnt our city with fire and yeah. completely dang near dismantled Jerusalem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Babylon was in power. He prophesied against it. It was Babylon today. That's a symmetrical, man. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing it happening on a minute level. And it's only going to grow from here on out. That's right. It's only going it's only going to get worse and worse, man. Most high is on that 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 crying Shavelin, it's only get louder, That's right. and stronger, and more devastating, more destructive and more uh fearing and more just like, oh shit. I, I jaw dropping all, all those type of things that wow you man it's, it's going it's only gonna get worse man to That's where right. hey men's hearts are gonna fail people gonna have a heart attack they're gonna drop dead from so much fear yeah. like they can't take it they can't they can't take all the turmoil that that the most is about to unleash on this place man That's, right. That's why it comes to the time of Jacob's trouble and and, and uh, the time that when uh, day in the twelfth chapter it says it's not gonna be another time spoken of like this time is coming man. When people are gonna be scared shitless, mm -hmm. literally, you know what I'm saying? Right. Where you can't even shit, so you just like stuck. You know, there's things that are coming, man. Right. Uh, is that is that the only verse you want on that? Yes. Okay, if you can grab second half chapter nine, uh, start at verse nine, then we can end off on that. Start at verse nine. Uh, come on. This is second Ezra chapter nine, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case. 
which now have abused my ways. Right. So they're gonna be in pitiful case, man, because this, because like I said, because those have abused the ways. It's talking about this is talking about you, you are so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, right. two thirds of the nation of Israel. You gonna be in a bad case because you abused the heavenly Father's ways, man. Okay, you you totally can abuse because you you have understand a little understanding of the scriptures, but you you've abused his ways. The scriptures say, uh, "Abuse the world, but not abuse the world." Y'all completely abused the world, man. That's right. Y'all completely abused the world. Y'all went to the y'all went uh, under the, under the rulership of, of Esau. Y'all went hard, man. Y'all went hard right along with Esau, man, fulfilling every nasty, disgusting lust that popped in your little uh, pea brain. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Go ahead, bro. Come, come. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. All right, you cast them away despitefully, you're going to dwell in torments, man. That's what's coming to our people, man. We already know it's coming to Esau, okay? But it's also coming to our people, man. But that's what we're really cursing out, man. You you, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, you pieces of crap, man. You despitefully, you cast them away despitefully, man, his ways, man. You do not want to take heed. We trying to tell you to get right, wake up the truth, even though we know that you that two thirds not gonna wake up because it's prophesied, okay? But hey, you still uh, cast them away, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's gonna be your judgment. Go ahead, bro. Come, come. Verse ten: For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known. Them. Right, you seen where benefits yet unknown? The heavenly Father, man, y'all received uh, raises, better jobs in society, okay? Have had pretty good times here at, at times. You know what I'm saying? And you have not known how about Shimei was shot, man. You didn't know balance. You didn't understand that maybe, okay, sometimes I'm going to take an L and sometimes the most I'll throw me another. Y'all, you just considered the good things and, 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 and thought that he was just, it was just all good, man. Tom, brother, that's why I believe in Ecclesiastes 8 11. It says, through sentence is done, uh, through sentence to an evil work is done to something expediently. Mm -hmm. you know? Therefore, it is fully set in the, in the hearts of the sons of men to commit wickedness. Mm -hmm. You know, loosely paraphrasing. You know what I mean? Just because that sentence might not be there. Right away, right. they wicked, yeah. and they gonna receive that reward. The Lord's is letting their sins just go, go on and on and on. That's right, you know. That's right, cause y'all, y'all what? Y'all being wicked as all hell, man. But y'all still getting benefits, <laughs> and y'all yeah. thinking the most out of which y'all, man. Right. Y'all supposing that gain is God, just like First uh, Timothy chapter six tells you, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that, and that's why you're gonna take an L, man. That's why y'all taking the L. That's why a lot of you, Jake, so they Jake on Facebook recording live getting skipped over, as far as a rescue. Nigga woman taking L's, he, he was like, man, she nigga woman recorded L's, the brother Zabak posted. She recorded, they, they, they screaming loud as hell for help. Mm -hmm. She recorded that. It was a guy that worked for the border right next door to her. Got delivered, mm -hmm. got rescued. Where? They skipped Rachel right over there. They did a backflip over that bro. You know what I'm saying? Jake was so much attention. You screaming. You screaming on Facebook Live like you can give an address while you scream. I hope they gave the address while they was doing that. No, she down there. They they rescued him and passed right by. Us. They passed right. She said, "Help! Help! Help! Help!" help. Well, mm -hmm. screamed for like a minute. Yeah. She's like, "Yeah, they just passed right by me." Yeah. Well, now, now, <laughs> how many lights you got? Do you want yeah. the lights doing all that? Yeah, yeah. You want the attention? You want the yeah? They ignored the hell out your ass. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's our people, man. That's just like Katrina, man. Right. Jake took them L's, man. Had all the benefits and things and blessings in the world that they got from Heavenly Father and didn't know him. Yep. You know? Uh, read uh, verse 11 and 12 and we, we can end off. Right. Right. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law. And, that, and that's two thirds. Y'all loathe. When that's you right. loathe something, you have complete disdain of disgust mm -hmm. for something. Yep. And, that, and that's the law that says come after the Heavenly Father, man, and his men and, and his will. Y'all loathe it, man. Go ahead. And they that have loathed my law. While they yet had liberty? While we yet had liberty. We're in the time of grace right now. Yep. And what do they use a the grace as? A cloak of maliciousness and a cloak of wishing, well, wickedness, man. You know what the church teaches. What this world teaches, man. This this doctrine, this Roman Catholic doctrine which the world abides by. Well, most of the world abides by, man. You know? You got this liberty, but you they teach you to be a complete jerk off in this society, man. Completely smack the heavenly father in his face, you know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. And when as yet the place of repentance was open unto them, and you just hit that point, mm -hmm. understood not, but despised it. They loathed it. Yep. <laughs> they despised it, man. They all Jake walked by the camps day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? Women jagging their men. Some men have, the 10 peck ass niggas have a peak of curiosity, and what they do? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the nigga woman got their balls in their purse, and they tell you to come on. 
You get dragged down to go eat some damn lobster or shrimp or go watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? Go listen to some music, mm -hmm. you know? Not saying nothing wrong, but listen to some music, but yeah. but yeah, but you you niggas completely controlled, man. That's by your right. woman, man. Your woman drag you out. You know? All these type of things, they despise the words of the heavenly father. They despise the truth, man. Everyone's been open up to this thing, man. That's why there's no cloak for your sins. That's right. You know? And then we're gonna end up with this last part, verse twelve. Kind. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must and that's how y'all gonna know. And that's how people are, are beginning to know it, man. You're going to know after death by pain. Not just being put to death something swift. Okay, there's going to be complete anguish and hell and agony on the face of the earth, man. To where y'all going to be tortured and wish for death. And then finally, when you at the last point, then that's when you're going to die. But all that before that, oh, man. All your worst fears and pain and anguish and fears are going to come true, man. And, and it started right now, man. Especially with this eclipse coming, which that was a spiritual thing, which a, a, a eclipse like that, uh, everybody was bringing that hasn't happened since 1776 with the so-called inception of America, with the sign of the Declaration of Dependence, uh, Dependence, you know? Yeah. So, hey, it, it, it's, it's that time where the Most High is starting to, to, to roar and crowd at your very woman, man. That's and right. it's only going to get worse, you know? Ah, ah, that's right. So, you know, hey, close the mark, anything? Yeah, wrong? just really quick. You know, it says the same as knowing about the death by pain. Like you said, it's, that's a slow death, mm -hmm. a painful death. And that even goes into Matthew 10 and 28, where it says, you know, fear no man, but fear him that can destroy thy body and thy soul in hell. Yep. You know, that's what that's going into. Of course, then coming to no place where you burn forever, man. But that hellish state, being in that torture, whatever it is, and not being able to be delivered from it, and end up dying a harmful death right afterwards after a slow death. Right. No, you're not going to receive nothing right afterwards, man. That's a terrible way. When the when the gates of salvation are open unto you at a point of time that you reject it, you feel like you're really worthy of something like that. Out of all the shit you've done in your life, not all the shit you're doing right now, not doing nothing to help the body out, not doing anything to help the ministry out, and you feel like you you need to receive reward for that. No, you loathe to his law, his law. And when I say this, of course, going into the into the wicked of our people, man. But oh, I, I'm ultimately it's the wicked of our people. But it even applies to you, Jake, that that claim to be in the know, because the Lord is gonna point the finger at y'all first, man. When He finds that that your candles ain't lit, when they, when it, you know what I'm saying, when you go to I believe Matthew, Matthew what the 25th chapter, you know what I'm saying, what you've been doing with this gift, man. You're gonna get touched because you despise His law, you rejected it. This liberty you've had, you've used it as a cloak of maliciousness. That's who that's going towards. Because you, 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 in a sense, thought you've had it, but you're using it in the wrong ways, man. Yeah, it's bad this. Mostly with somebody like Jake, but hey, you heathens, y'all come up as well. Why? Oh, yeah. Because y'all, Psalms, was it Psalms 58 or was it Psalms 50? What has that do with the Claire Brown statues? Yeah, Psalms 50. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all trying to call yourselves Christians and try to follow mm -hmm. the Bible? All these cursing things are subject to y'all ass as well, man. That's right, man. You know, y'all can get judged as well. Because y'all tried to take the words of Heavenly Father in your mouth and try to call yourselves Christian to buy it. So those curses are going to be on y'all ass and y'all can, can get judged as well, man. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the Most High is doing, man. He's he judging Esau down there and he's judging Jake. He's judging the other heathens. He's judging everybody down there. Who, whoever's an enemy, whoever's right. against his truth and his word and his will, he's judging them right now. And it's only going to get worse, man. Right. And it's rightfully so, and it's deserved, mm -hmm. you know. So with that, uh, Lord willing, brothers, edify Slocky. It was a little longer than we anticipated. <laughs> we started rolling the spirit, but hey, you know, that's, right. that, that's how it works. Sometimes, sometimes you, you get to roll, and you know, things just need to be said. You know, it's all according to the will. That's right. You know. So hey, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Mashem, Yahweh Shah, Double Onset Apostle, Elder the Great Millstar, who will well, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. I hate him in that. Let's see. No.